Hello, and welcome to Planeswalker Plus. I'm your host, Alice Clark. In this month's episode, we are going to see the end of our players' journeys. That's right, Friday Night Magic. They're going to be playing their constructed decks against the far superior constructed decks of people who have been playing way longer than them. It is going to be a bloodbath, but let's hope it's an educational one, or at least painful. So we're here with Fabian. Fabian, how does Friday Night Magic work? So there's two kinds of Friday Night Magic. There's Draft, which is where players sit in pods of players. Mm -hmm. Each player has three boosters, and they draft those boosters. So that's a selection process, and they end up with a pile of 42 cards. Uh -huh. From those cards, they'll build a deck and play three rounds of Magic. And each round, they'll be play paired against someone who's got the same number of match points as them. So they're always on an even footing. And how about in standard Friday Night Magic? Standard is a constructed format, so that means that players bring their own decks that they've built at home. Yep. Standard means that there's some restrictions on the cards they can use, so it's only from the last couple of sets. Uh, and then they bring a deck, play four rounds, mm -hmm. again paired, yeah, paired against someone who's always got the same number of wins as them, so it's always fairly even. Fantastic. And is this something that newer players should attempt, or is it just for the seasoned veterans? Friday Night Magic is aimed to be the entry level to organise play. So if you know how to play Magic, if you've got a deck, uh, just come along and play. So this is probably the first time that we really get to test our decks against a higher standard. There's no ifs and buts about it. I haven't got much there else in my deck, so I'm going to be at a bit of a disadvantage. It's going to be pretty exciting with the changes I made to my deck last time. I think that we might be... Pro Maybe pleasantly surprised, hopefully. But I still think I can take some games. It's Swiss format, so if I do lose, I'll get paired with somebody else who's lost. Um, we're all kind of a little bit sleep deprived too, which doesn't help. So let's see how we go. I think I've got a shot at this. So I'm going to go for two wins as my aim, but if I can get more, all the better. Yes, I think I could, might be able to win this one. But I have my doubts, and it probably is going to not be good. <laughs> We're halfway through the games, let's see if our players are crying yet. Being two games in now, a 1-1 one, one, and a lost 1-2-1, one, one, which isn't too bad. Uh, my deck's doing a lot better than I expected it did. That Biden of Tharsis completely won me games. It completely made the first game incredibly easy for me. So it really has gone to predicted. Zero twos all the way. Um. So I've played two rounds so far and unfortunately I've lost both, but at least they were pretty tight matches. I've still got two matches to go. I'm still hoping that I can get sneak in one win, hopefully. The second one I went against Red Devotion. I haven't played against Devotion deck before. They're really scary. My detaining was able to hold up, but the, the burn was just too big. I couldn't handle it. I think there's a few things I could do to help my deck out in the future. Just, you know, chip away at their health, but it's not looking promising. It managed to take a game. It did well. I'm looking forward to seeing how I'll go with game three and four as well. Maybe I'll take another one. We'll see. So far, it's all been fun and games, so we'll see how we go. Okay, it's gone as expected. Four losses in a row, no wins at all. It's kind of depressing, I guess. So my deck did not go well. It kind of got destroyed. But I said I'd take two games. I did technically take two games, not two rounds. Whatever, I'll have fun. So tonight was a bit of a loss overall. I came in with like really high hopes with my deck, but didn't quite catch up. But I would like to just point out that I nearly won every single match. I'm so close. But it's been a journey, I guess. It's been an adventure. These six months that I've been building this deck, it's 
always been fun versus the same guys, playing a heap of different type of modes, draft, double head, dragon, um, or giant even, not even dragon. A dragon would be fun, I don't know. Overall for the whole series, I feel that while I may not have won a lot, I've definitely learned a lot and I've definitely felt some sort of like joy for playing the game. But Magic, I guess in a whole, and Planeswalkers Plus has been a lot of fun. I, mean, I used to play a lot of Magic back when I was, I was younger and, and getting into it, relearning it, talking to all the players who seem so passionate about it. It makes you want to keep playing it. I, I've seen through this night that you do have to just spend a lot of time just getting the combos right, getting the cards right and just spending money and time just to get everything right for a good cup deck. So I'm definitely going to come back and play again in the future. Maybe not for Friday Night Magic, might just come and go from Friday Night Magic, but I'm definitely going to challenge all my friends. At the time, I don't have the time, don't have the money, but hopefully in the future, I will have. I'm not going to play competitively, I haven't got the time, but I will certainly always have my deck in my bag, ready for another game, and I'll probably keep enhancing it as I go. I'm definitely going to challenge Brad again and again until I win. Well. That pretty much confirmed a lot of what we knew already. Viola's cheating is less cute in actual competition, Brad's experience is an asset, and Shane's deck is strong, but not strong enough. Kind of like Shane, really. But the experience was not entirely worthless. From this, Brad and Shane have decided to keep playing, and they've learned the weaknesses of their decks. If you want to win a Simic Domination, Domination, Domination intro deck, just go to our Facebook page and tell us which magic character you think would make the best cheerleader. Well, that's it for Season 1, but tune in in January for Season 2. We'll be back better and more focused than ever. Until then, keep watching New Game Plus. See ya!